We are expecting an update on a home explosion that happened in Westworth Village this morning. It's a small town just west of downtown Fort Worth. We know one person was injured in the blast, and our Caroline Vandergriff has been on the scene for us all day. Investigators with the Fort Worth Fire Department, along with Atmos Energy crews, were here for most of the day working to figure out what exactly happened. This explosion was so loud it could be heard and felt for miles. It was just like kaboom, this very loud uh, boom, basically. And the whole house shook. I literally thought it was something at the base, like a plane crash or there was a bomb of some sort. A terrifying explosion around 7.30 this morning brought neighbors out of their homes on Waters Place. Uh, we saw all the um, wood in the middle of the street. There were people yelling with a lot of commotion, a lot of call 911s, that kind of thing. They jumped in to help the man who was inside the home at the time. According to the Fort Worth Fire Department, he was taken by care flight to Parkland Hospital to be treated for burns. The woman who owns the home says the man's wife and two young kids left the house right before the explosion. I've owned the house like at least 45 years. My kids grew up there. Danita Shelton says the family has only been renting the home since last month. Now the place that holds four decades of memories is gone. It's really sad. Both my kids are like, well, say that they're hurting over it. Several neighboring homes were damaged as well. I feel bad. <laughs> I'm in there cleaning up broken glass and stuff that, you know, fell out of my windows and fell off the walls. And uh, I guess I'll be calling the insurance company to see what I need to do. Some of the people in the surrounding homes were initially evacuated out of an abundance of caution, but the street has now been opened back up and neighbors are going back into their homes. Fort Worth Fire says this appears to be an isolated incident. In Westworth Village, I'm Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News. We actually